The BMV 080 particulate matter sensor from Bosch Sensor Tech is an optoelectronic device, so that means that there are important optical and electronic factors to take into account when you're building it into your end product design. We're going to talk about that now today with, uh, with Ahmed. First off, we can see, so from the device is, as I said, it's an optical device. It's got a, a laser and a photodiode inside for, for, for uh, capturing the backscattering of light from particles in the air. Um, so optically, it's got to work really, really well. What, what issues do people need to take into account from an optical point of view when they're, they're doing the design integration? So when it comes to optical integration, you need the optical integration to make sure that the sensor is functional um, as expected and also measures precisely. Uh, but what's really important is that uh, we need the optical integration in the first place to protect the sensor right. lens to make sure it doesn't get uh, damaged or um, get affected by external, um, external contamination. And um, the, in what you need to, to let, let's start with what you don't need okay. first, mm -hmm. and then go into what because it's it's quite interesting uh, in the, in that the, the the sensor is not sensitive to uh, sunlight or ambient light in general. That means it's not sensitive to sunlight. It's not sensitive to external light. So you don't have an issue with performance because of because it's a it's a very common question. Um, yeah. Engineers are like, okay, what happens with uh, sunlight or if so? Optical that, filtering is not an issue. It, it's not an issue, and yeah. you don't need to take care of that. Yeah. The other point which is very important is that it's a laser class one, meaning that the sensor is uh, completely safe for consumer products. Yeah. And that's, of course, a big plus because you wanna, it is a consumer, it's made for consumer products. So you need to, it, it's- You don't need it, to do any don't don't attenuation to for protection nothing. or anything like that. Okay. Nothing. So, yeah. and then now what you need to consider. Yeah, so you, you tell us that. So this is the best we don't need to worry about, but there are things you do need to take care of. Yeah, so the, what you need to take care of is um, the sensor needs to have a, a field of view that is uh, free from obstruction. So as you know, it's looking into the environment, so it has an obstruction detection. So if it gets obstructed, the sensor will flag and tell you that there is an obstruction. And that's actually quite a nice feature so that you can clear the way and make sure that your sensor is uh, measuring correctly. Um, the, to get more information on the sensor obstruction um, sensitivity, you can find that in our data sheet with, with the details of the range and everything. Uh, and when it comes to another point to, to consider is that you need to have the optical cover at the recommended distance from the, the sensor lens. And that is also mentioned um, in our data sheet yeah. as well. And can that cover, can that be, does it have to be transparent? Can it be colored? Can it be inked? It can be tinted. It can be, um, it can be transparent. So you have a variety of options and we actually provide the recommendations, off-the-shelf recommendations in our um, in our uh, reference design. Yeah. Uh, and so a certain amount of optical attenuation is permitted. Yes. But, but it's yes. described in the data. In sheet. the data sheet, and also uh, with the reference design, you already have recommendations off the shelf recommendations, which are easy to find. And they are also, um, we chose ones which are scratch proof and uh, so scratch resistant and uh, also with good transparency. Uh, so this, uh, and we have tested these, so we know that they work uh, quite well. Also everything that's in our reference design, we have tested it extensively. So you can be sure that we, we it, it it's recommended. Yeah. Uh, if, if you, of course, if you want to use something else, you're free to do so. Yeah. Uh, but of course, we give you these recommendations so that you get a, a quick uh, start to prototyping and designing your absolutely your design absolutely. Path. So we've talked about the optical considerations to take into account when you're, you're doing a design integration. Um, there are also electrical issues as well. Maybe mm. you can d describe that as well, Anna. So when it comes to electrical uh, integration, we have several electrical configurations to, to choose from according to the customer's needs and preferences. Mm. Um, it's also related to the use case of the customer. Yeah. So for instance, the simplest way is to go with a single uh, supply rail of 3.3 volts. Mm. That's the most straightforward and simplest way to go. And if uh, you want to save as much power as possible, then you would go for the multi-supply rail option configuration, and that would then save you every microamp. Yeah, so it's a little more complicated. 3.3 volt is a completely standard, normal sort of power supply arrangement for a sensor, uh, or you might need to, for efficiency and power consumption reduction, exactly. 
you might go for the more complicated multi-rail. What, what are the implications of the, uh, the multi-rail approach? Basically, with that, your um, PCB design becomes more complex, okay. of course. But so depending on your uh, electrical configuration, you that will be then uh, translated into how your PCB design is going to be like. It's going to look like at the end. And when it comes to um, also an addition point, when it comes to electrical uh, integration, is also the SIF connector, that uh, which is a zero insertion force connector. You need to uh, insert the BMV080 in uh, on the where the BMV080 is inserted on the SIF connector, and um, uh, also clipped with a lever. To, to ensure that it's secure in place. Okay, all right. And uh, on the receptacle side, then you provide a, a list of, of recommended products, standard products that are available in from our suppliers design. like you, you in like, our references. Absolutely. Yes. Okay, very good. Yeah. All right. So um, we've covered optical considerations, electrical considerations. Uh, then this device also uh, has to integrate with the host microcontroller or, yep. or, or whatever. Um, so there are software issues to think about as well. So the next point to cover would be the software integration, because also you, you want to communicate with the sensor uh, via software. So uh, the interface, uh, the sensor supports um, I2C and SPI and um, it uh, transferring preconditioned data. And also to get to access uh, the output, which is uh, PM 2.5 or PM 1, um, you basically access uh, the data through the, the BMV080 SDK, which we provide. And the SDK runs on the host controller of the the host microcontroller of the of the customer, basically. Yeah. And uh, are there sort of minimum sort of uh, hardware requirements on the on the the microcontroller to support this this sensor? This is described in our um, data sheet as well uh, on the limitations of of what needs to be done. But mm -hmm. we have enabled for quite a lot of embedded platforms, mm -hmm. and these are already available with the current um, um, with the current SDK. So are these sort of widely used sort of 32-bit kind of microcontroller platforms yeah, that people to, are familiar with? To give you an idea of the embedded platforms that already covered and are covered by the sensor are, for instance, ARM Cortex M4F, M4, M33, um, uh, M33F, also uh, M0 Plus, and uh, you have also support for ESP32, you have for Raspberry Pi and you have for Windows. And also additional to that, you, there are maybe one, some which I might have missed. <laughs> and to get the exact, uh, the full scope of all the embedded platforms which are supported, you have that in our data sheet. Okay, so there's very broad compatibility with, yes. with sort of 30 We try to enable people. as much as possible yeah. so that the user is, when it comes to software, they we provide the SDK, we make it as easy as possible so that they can go faster into their um prototyping and then finally the product to reach yeah. mass market. And to be clear, the software integration is in, is in any case straightforward because all of the, the data processing is done on the chip. It produces a calculated uh, yes. particular And then you just access the measurement uh, yeah. directly from the SD. So you're not having to do any of the calculation in, the, in, in your host microcontroller. No. It's no. all done on, it's on, done on the It's done in sensor. the SDK, which is running on the host, control, uh, host microcontroller. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So optical, electrical, and software issues all handled with the advice from Ahmed and the information you can find in the, in the data sheet. Uh, find out more about the BMV 080 particular matter sensor with this web link. So there's a ton of reasons why you'd be interested in exploring the features of the BMV 080 particular matter sensor. And you can do so uh, with one of the shuttle boards. So Ahmed, maybe you can tell us, uh, we've got, the can see the, uh, the board here, you've got the sensor. I, I see it's behind a, an aperture with a, a dark ink glass um, and, and some headers and, and then some connectors underneath. So just tell us, how do you use this BMV 080 shuttle board. So the shuttle board is meant to be an early evaluation and also uh, for proof of concept. Uh, you will find uh, basically it connects to our application board, similar to our other shuttle boards which we have in our uh, product portfolio. So an application board is a board with a microcontroller on it and that can and, connect and to a PC. Also you can use it for BLE communication. Right, so it okay. has a lot of. Uh, 
features supported and you can use it then for proof of concept. So you either use our drivers, uh, we have uh, readily available examples on GitHub and additionally you can also plug and play. So we have also software supporting um, plug and play where you can just uh, plug and test the sensor and see see um, outputs. Okay, so you can plug this shuttle board into one, either one of your application boards or into your own proof of concept board um, uh, and you've got full software support for it as well with PC and uh, for, yes. for, for, for support on a PC and application examples through GitHub and so on. Yes. And this board is, is available for anyone who wants it now? Yes, and you can get it through our distribution partners. Thank you.